Greetings YouTube and welcome to the channel. I am the narcissistic one pretty William and I'm here with Phoenix Heart. This is Mighty Pirate Gaming and uh, we have recently upgraded our hardware and software for our filming setup. So we decided we were going to go back and refilm some of our old episodes. And in this episode we are going to be redoing our uh, Plague Inc. Evolved playthrough. And uh, without any further ado, and no more screwing around, let's jump right into it and see how much death we can cause. Alright, just bringing it up here. Yeah. And we have, we're playing a different form this time than we did the last, because it's the Necrovirus. Oh, so you're causing a zombie apocalypse this <laughs> so time. So, I had unlocked something, and I really am not sure... How to play this one. Let's see. Hmm. ATP boost. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the ATP boost and see if it doesn't help me more to have more DNA in the beginning. All right. Darwinist or creationist? The eternal question. Well, I think I want more mutating with this one. Yeah, that tends to be a good idea. And this one, I only have the one gene. The unlocked. one gene unlocked. So. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to go with giving us a bonus in urban environments. Well, when dealing with zombies, usually the, uh, the more corpses you can create, the better off you are. But it's kind of a toss-up because you are probably going to have more of a chance in rural environments to spread some diseases. Oh, what do I want to name my plague this mm. time? I find that interesting that you would think that because I would think the uh, more urban areas where you're more tightly packed and clustered together would make for a better spreading of plague. At some points, but there are some illnesses that if you can get, there are actually less urban environments mm -hmm. and they're usually more civilized so they have better doctors, better medicines, quicker reaction times. Well, that's true. So you can cover the earth a lot better a lot of times with a rural environment. I don't think that would quite apply to zombies though. <laughs> zombies, you require corpses. You require a lot of corpses. I think I'm going to name this one Carl. <laughs> All right, any particular reason? Oh, because I like Carl. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, reminiscent of my show. Ah, uh, yes, your zombie show, which yes. we won't mention. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. So I decided to go urban. I've never tried starting something in the USA. I think that will be a very difficult thing to do, but I'm going to give it a shot. Well, you know, when you're uh, dealing with something like this, you kind of want to take out the wealthy nations first. Let's see. Carl is a necrovirus. It has extreme regenerative abilities combined with aggressive metabolic demands but most of its genetic structure is a mystery. Well, I'm gonna up my speed too, cause I am not a patient woman. Hmm. And it takes too long if you don't have it going faster. I see. Let's see, I'm up to 14. So, what might I want to evolve? I want to cause transmission. Ah, this is a whole different transmission screen. Well, most of the uh, viruses do change from 
the simian flu is vastly different than any of the other viruses. And all the uh, viruses have unique screens, whether it be the abilities, the transmission, or the symptoms. Let's see, zoonotic shift. Well, I don't think I want to go with that. But I think I'm going to go with saliva. All right, we'll see how this turns out for you. All right, <laughs> do I want to go with gastrointestinal or evolved saliva? I think I'm going to evolve saliva. All right, we'll leave it at that for now and see what else might pop up because of that. And I always go up here and rest on Greenland because since it's white, I have a lot easier time seeing my mm. pointer. Well, that's an interesting strategy. I tend to uh, let my pointer hover in the center of the map so I have uh, just as much time to reach any corner of the map. I do that if I'm on a slower speed, but once I up it to three times the normal speed, there's so many boats and planes flying around there that I find I have difficulty orienting. Hmm. Okay. I may need to evolve the drug resistance ability. Okay, well, we'll do that then. By golly. Do you have enough DNA for it? Let's see. There we go. We've evolved it twice. Carl is spreading from person to person and will grow exponentially. Hmm. Well, viewers, put, leave a comment down below if you think I'm overstepping my bounds by saying, I think she's going to lose. <laughs> That's my prediction. Uh, I, I predict a loss very shortly. Well, you predict away. <laughs> and we'll see how long you last. But I, I don't think that this match is going to go your way. I actually don't either. I think the USA was a bad choice. But no one has died as of yet, and it's starting to pick up on people being infected. Yeah. And it's spread to Canada. Well, you just have to make sure that you have the majority of the world infected before they detect you. So we will involve spreading to a cold temperature. See if we can't go a little farther north. Let's so see. what's your strategy uh, for this? Do you have... Ah, uh, look. Look, yes, it went by ship. It went by ship to Europe. Yeah. So we are making some headway. My strategy. So far, we're looking fair. I would like to see it go a lot faster than this. But the U.S. is starting to get covered fairly well, which is more than I'd hoped for. Really? Yeah. <laughs> if we can knock the U.S. out early. Oh, I'm going to pause so that I can get some of these bubbles. Yeah, that's the problem with going super fast. You tend to miss DNA. Okay. Yeah, it's spreading quite nicely now. So let's see if we can't get it to go to warmer climes. Let's 
Let's do some genetic hardening here. Well, I look forward to seeing the outcome of this. Uh, you were making some interesting choices. In Let's do opinion. some hypersalivation since I uh, made saliva one of my first things. But to is transfer. anyone biting anyone else yet? <laughs> Scientists are concerned about Carl. Mm -hmm. Early analysis of Carl in the USA has identified cellular regenerative abilities which could cause tumors government mm. promises to take action but then the government promises a lot of things <laughs> all right so USA is now limiting access into and out of the country oh. which is going to make this more difficult however we have already reached many other countries mm -hmm. well, it's, that's what you want to do is gain a foothold <laughs> I have no dead yet, which is also a good thing at this point. And they're only 1%, yeah, now 2%, working on a cure. Yeah, they discovered you. Yeah. Let's see, we need some more transmission here. Hmm. We'll see how this goes. We'll see where we go from here. You didn't quite get that bubble down there. Yeah, there you go. You've gained a foothold in other countries. Um, but they're really not spreading terribly fast. Oh, yes. Look at Canada. Canada is going to fall. Yes, but if you look at the little bar down at the bottom of the screen, the world as a whole is still largely healthy. You've only got 5% of the world's population infected. Hmm. Let's see. So it's a lot of the warmer countries. So, a lot of Africa is still not infected. Mm -hmm. There's nobody healthy left in the USA, but it's the only country. So, we need to be looking at making it spread Your to warmer and clo colder climes. <laughs> What's that little chuckle about? <laughs> well, it's just you're making some choices that I, I find rather interesting. Ones that I perhaps wouldn't make, but I'm not saying anything. <laughs> you're saying so much. <laughs> you are not subtle, my friend. <laughs> I may not be subtle, but I'm at least silent. <laughs> uh, Gastroenteritis has mutated. And I didn't have to use any points to have that happen. Well, that's a bonus, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> Look at this thing go. Ah, cure is 25% complete. Yes, you are one-fourth of the Indonesia way to Indonesia is now hmm. working on a cure. So we must do something about this. Well, you bypassed the common cold, but... Let's see. Hmm. Do I want encephalitis, psychosis, or cannibalism? Well, I'm not certain. I'm not certain either. I think I'll go with encephalitis. <laughs> See where that takes us. Okay. You, uh, you are a 
paying attention to those three small bars at the bottom of your evolution screens, right? Well, of course. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Well, they're already up to 75% in cure. So, I need to go over here to abilities. I think yeah. genetic reshuffle is what you're looking for, yes. See if we can take that down a peg. Now we're up to 88. Now 95. I've lost. <laughs> mm, coma symptom mutated. Which yeah. I should have mutated earlier. You can't cure a zombie. All right, I need to evolve the cytopathic reanimation symptom and make the cure irrelevant. But it's too late because there's already a 100% cure. Yep, they're going to eradicate the virus even if the... Uh, wow, that was short but sweet. Mm-hmm. Well... I'm going to have to use some kind of different... Uh, strategy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that uh, you definitely will uh, re have to rethink your plan. You got a little bit of DNA there. <laughs> Maybe that'll you. save your game. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. 730 days. Yes, but you had a score of 58. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, this has been uh, Mighty Pirate Gaming. I've been the Narcissistic One here with Phoenix Heart. And we have just watched a spectacular loss to the world <laughs> at large. And uh, we'll see what happens in the next episode. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, smash that like and subscribe button. It really does help the channel. And if you enjoyed what you saw, leave a comment down below and tell us what we should do next. And we will see you all in the Only next Only be nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, don't do what I do. Uh, but we will see you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching.